Previously, we talked about the best skills for Sung Jinu, and we talked a lot about runes in that video. If you haven't seen it, I'll leave it in the description for you because I do recommend that you guys check it out where we talk about the best skills for Sung Jinu. But inevitably, when you talk about skills in the game, you also have to mention the runes because the runes are absolutely broken. They are what makes or breaks the skills for Sung Jinu in this game, and we're going to talk about them today. But before we do, be sure to subscribe. About 80% of viewers are not subscribed. If you want to look at Sung Jinu's face more, make sure you do. Okay, that was kind of cringe. <laughs> that was kind of cringe. I'll never do that again. But yeah, be sure to subscribe. All right, let's get into it. Get into it. The first thing to mention is I actually don't think there's any bad runes in the game. A lot of them actually will do things where they tie into other th rune skills or they'll reduce the cooldown or things like that. They'll airborne or knock down enemies that will obviously trigger your QTEs, maybe trigger some other stuff for you. They'll reduce the enemy's defense. They'll increase your attack. They'll do negative status effects like freeze here. Some of them are going to do counters and stuns. They're going to be break skills, etc. So the first thing to kind of mention is it kind of doesn't really matter a ton i know that's kind of weird because if it didn't matter why don't i make the video because yes while it's all good some of it is better and we'll get to that but it kind of doesn't really matter a ton because you have to constantly shift your skills in my opinion to really min max sung Janu in this game you want to constantly shift the skills that you have equipped to him to better suit whatever content you're taking on let me elaborate if your verse is a boss that needs to be broken, well, obviously, you'd want to put on a couple of break skills. In which case, like I said, if you checked out the other video, I did mention in particular multi-strike, a few other things. But multi-strike, because we have it here already, being an amazing break skill, obviously. So you want to put it on for a boss like that. But maybe if your verse is other bosses, maybe you have a lot more leeway, right? Maybe you can do something like this where... You death dance into Commander's Touch, where you do the black hole and you just decimate something. Or another rune, of course, works as well. But the combinations are very, very different depending on which content you're taking on. Another factor is, depending on which content you're taking on, maybe you need the element advantage. Light damage here, fire damage on that rune. This is the versatility of runes in the game because you can really take a skill and allow for it to completely change not only what it does, but the way that it functions in the game game if we look at some of these skills it's not only like an effect thing there's also a nice visual change obviously too but other things are going to start happening like you see that totally changed the way that that works this also stuns here now like so many things wind up happening for Song Jinu on the skills and so to begin when we look at the skills in the game the runes excuse me the first thing to kind of mention is that the legendary runes they're all basically the same and so we're going to go based off of legendary but it's basically the same the only real difference is there will be minor changes. For example, let's look at Hone In here, the legendary variation, 745 and then 120% damage. Versus the Epic, as you see, 650 and 75. And then the basic one, 568 and 45. So my tips are going to generally be, be they're going to pretty much be the same. But it'll be up to you, because you see there's a long list of runes and a long list of them and different rarities. It's going to be up to you to determine, as the user of your own account, what combinations you like, what fits your playstyle the best, and what you even have. Because I would love to run own in. I don't have it, though, in the legendary variation. What do you have? So we're going to talk mainly about the legendaries. And the first one, I, the first one excuse me, that I want to highlight is Cold Storm here. This is an enhancement on the skill Mutilate, the regular one, not the ultimate. 586% damage, frostbite and freeze. You love it. You love it. You absolutely love it. Let's see the lower rarity one, by the way. And as you see, this one works pretty well at a lower rarity because it's not like it's losing the effects. They're still there. Just less damage is pretty much the only real thing that's changing here. And for a preview, that's how it looks in the game. That's amazing. I love it. So the benefits to this one and why I chose this one as one of the ones I wanted to highlight is the freezing and the frostbite. The freezing, most importantly, interrupting them for two seconds has a ton of value in this game. It's why the Thetis Grimoire or Nam Chae Young as a support character, why these characters are really good. So if you can freeze an opponent or even if you can stun them as well, those are extremely useful tactics. Dealing damage equal to 30% of the user's attack every three seconds is very, very nice chip damage. 
The next one I want to mention is the black hole. I think from here I'm just going to stay on this page instead of bouncing back and forth because you guys get the point that it's just going to be better stuff. But ah, I guess I won't. I'll still show you what, what it kind of looks like. Anyway, black hole is amazing. It's probably the single best rune in the entire game for clearing the hordes in the bosses. Or the hordes in the boss stages or prior to the boss stage, etc. Because as you see, it has a very wide area of effect and they get absorbed or sucked in towards the center. It also does extra damage versus non-boss monsters monsters at the low rarity it's only 10 percent but i'm pretty sure this goes close to 50 and i'm pretty sure i'm wrong because it only goes up to 20 <laughs> so there you go anyway 30 percent of joining attack does a lot of hits so that's pretty awesome uh going up to 20 percent as well it's just going to shred those opponents they're not going to live that so in most cases so you definitely want to have that on if you can so the next one i want to mention is commander's touch equipped with the black hole so this one is really strong depending on the number of targets the skill hits it increases damage dealt to non-boss monsters by 20 percent i've just got to say this is probably the single best wave clearing attack in the entire game and you're going to see why when we take a look at it the way that this one works is pretty insane because it's got a very wide range of effect as you see here it sucks all the enemies in towards the center and if there's a lot of enemies, it's going to do more damage. So in stages where there's a ton of opposition or in stages where you fight just a lot of enemies prior to fighting the boss, that is going to absolutely just clear the board and get them out of there. There are other skills that do similar things, but I think that the way that this one functions with the wide range and the suck in that it does probably makes this the single best skill in the entire game that functions in this manner where it's designed to clear out the non-boss monsters. For the record, I just think that all the runes on this thing are awesome. <laughs> they're all really damn good. I, I I only am gonna highlight one, but they're all really good. This one gets two uses and it increases your attack. That's pretty awesome. This one here sucks them into the air, does an airborne thing, and then increases your mana points and power gauge. That's actually pretty damn broken. I think all the skills on Commander Touch are really good. My least favorite one will probably be the one I have equipped here, but that's even strong as well for decreasing the defense. You can combo that with things like Shadow Step or Bek Yunho or Libora, all these other things, and just turn that into a crap ton of damage through basically defense reduction etc so that is just awesome too but nonetheless the big thing with commander's touch is the wide range on it that's the most important thing overall regardless of what rune you have so moving on to our next one and that's going to be death stance for the record once again i think death stance has pretty insane ones pretty much across the board <laughs> they're all really really good so anyway, the one I wanted to highlight for this one will be this bad boy right here. We're going to talk about probably one more, but this one having a heavy break on it also increases damage by 20% when attacks, uh, when you attack the enemies that are weak to the attribute. So obviously this goes much higher as you get the higher rarities. I'm just going to stick to the basic ones from here, but because you guys get the gist of it. But nonetheless, this one is amazing. But again, death stance is arguably the best it's the, arguably the best break skill arguably a top three skill in the entire game outside of obviously shadow step in the ultimate right so it just has a lot of stuff now we talked about commander's touch and this one also synergizes amazingly because you can do that and then turn that directly into a commander's touch because the skill on that reduces the cooldown of commander's touch completely so as you see right here resets the cooldown of commander's touch at the very bottom so for the record I talked about it earlier. Depends on your play style, depends what you're trying to do. But if there's a skill, a rune, that makes the skill reduce the cooldown of another skill, you you want that because it turns into some amazing stuff. So a combination of Death Dance and Commander's Touch is probably the single best combination in the entire game because of the synergy you can have after this rune is used, right? So keep that in mind. Also, a good thing about this rune, aside from that, is that it increases your critical hit damage by 20% for 8 seconds. It also still has the knockdown and break on it. But I want to focus on the critical hit damage because critical sets are probably the best way to build Sung Jin in the game right now. Whether that's critical gear, critical weapons, plum sword, blah, blah, blah. It's crit, 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 crit. So if you can spawn critical hits on Janu, the extra crit damage, 20% for 8 seconds, is not the biggest, but obviously it goes up. If I believe it goes up if it's a higher rarity. But nonetheless, this is one that just is just amazing. This is an amazing rune, period. It doesn't matter what it is. I keep going in to say, like, skill or blah, blah, blah. It's like 
they're extensions of the skill, but the skill is the death stance, and this is not. This is Earth Shock on death stance. It's a weird system. Anyway, moving on. Let's talk about the next one here, which is Sunder on Cutting Rush for Sung Janu. Cutting, cutting Rush is an interesting skill because it has a lot of strong runes as well uh, because of the way that it just depends on what you want to do. This one here doing a 100% chance to the next critical hit that you do or the next attack to have a 100% crit chance is awesome if you combo that into your freaking ultimate, for example, especially if you've already got the critical hit damage and you've got a critical hit set. You see what I'm saying? So if we also take a look at Sunder here, I really like this. First and foremost, he's invincible. And we're not talking about Mark. I'm gonna make that joke every time. He also inflicts airborne, does dark element damage. When the skill is used, he gets a 7% crit hit rate for 12 seconds. So this is not the same as the other one. It's just 7% for 12 seconds. So there's more opportunities to do more hits as opposed to one guaranteed big hit. So nonetheless, this in conjunction with the other skill that increased crit hit damage or another skill that can help with that, like this one, which again, you can't use them together, but you have a lot of usability with cutting rush, even though it's not my favorite skill in the game. Also, I want to kind of mention for this rune here, Annihilation, I wanted to throw an honorable mention here because it's one of the rare skills that actually has a very high modifier and then does extra damage against bosses that are broken. There's only a few of these in the game. So if you are versus a boss that you are breaking repeatedly and you've got a couple break supports and you have one break skill on your character, this will do a ton of damage versus those bosses if you've leveled it up as well, particularly if you have the higher rarities. As I'm going through this, inevitably, like I said in the beginning, all these skills are good. It's increasingly difficult to say, here are the best ones. I've already showed you, if you've been following, the best ones. They're Commander's Touch, there's Death Dance. Those are the two tippy top of the totem pole to me. In terms of skills, yes, but also the runes that they have. Now, again, the rest of it kind of depends on what else you're trying to do. I really, really, really liked this skill here because this is basically the Demon King's Longsword built into a skill. It has Dark Element, knocks down. When it's used, it gives him a shield for one second, gives him a counter, gives him invincible, and then stuns on on landing that. So it's uh, there's another skill in the game that's a break version of this. Exact same skill, but it's a break version. But they're both amazing. But this one doing the damage version of it is awesome. So I love this skill here. I recommend it highly if you were to use it. Next up, I wanted to kind of mention this skill here. Sucking the opposition in and then also doing the attack afterwards. It's a similar idea to the commander's touch. In fact, it has a similar passive. So this one works amazingly as well if you don't have the commander touch one where the black hole where it sucks them inward or whatever it was doing. So that is most of the skills. Now, I wanted to highlight Crushing Blow as well because I think this is the skill. Yeah, this is the, the break version of that same skill where if it breaks or if it, if it lands a counterattack, it does a heavy break, does invincible, gets the shield, does a stun. So this is amazing too. Crushing Blow is kind of weird though because it tries to do a one-inch punch and it's kind of, well, sometimes, and it can kind of depend on your distance from the opposition. Oftentimes, he will kind of dart inward like you see there. But it can kind of depend. It's not the highest range uh, skill, but it's still very high value also because all the runes are pretty much good. And it also does have, again, whether it's break, things like that. This one here, interacting with the ultimate skill uh, is pretty insane. Charging the power gauge and reduce. This is this is a tippy top tier, in my opinion, right here. That's tippy top tier. Um, but yeah, like it's, it's a really strong one. So anyway, that is mostly it. Dagger Toss has some amazing ones. Uh, double slash does too. I wanted to try to highlight five, but then I sat down and I was like, man, there's a crap ton of really, really good runes in the game. So I threw you more of them, but inevitably as I wanted to only cover so many, I didn't want to also cover every single one. So I am not doing so for today's video. In fact, I completely ignored multi-strike in this video, which also has some amazing runes on it too. It's arguably another one of those top three to five skills in the entire game. I mean, three to five is pretty loose. He's only got like 10 skills or whatever, but you get the point, right? Multi-strike is amazing. So. Anyway, also, by the way, multi-strike, just on the topic, it's got super armor here. The next one has freaking invincible. Like, okay. this, there's a lot of stuff kind of happening here. With all the hits, this one does a crit hit rate increase here, I believe. Okay. Crushing blow up no. there. Like, there's a lot of stuff with these. Like, multi-strike's pretty insane. Uh, anyway, inevitably, though, I couldn't cover every single thing, even though I gave you so many more than I intended to. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to subscribe. Also, check out the other video where I talk about the best skills. Now that we've been talking about them all video, you probably have an idea, but you should definitely click on the video on the screen.